The finals fever, the Miami Heat back on their home court today after splitting games one and two with the Denver Nuggets in the Mile High City. But the Heat players you saw there and fans are pumped up for game three, which you can only see right here, of course, on Local 10. And we have every angle of the big, ga big game covered for you. Local 10's Andrew Perez has all the excitement surrounding the finals return, but we begin with Local 10 Sports Director Will Manso. Well, this Heat team has proven to be tough all year long, but they also know the three toughest wins of the season are ahead of them still. The Heat are excited about the challenge against the Denver Nuggets now at home. We know our group. They live on the razor's edge. <laughs> you know, there's, there's an edginess uh, to this group. Uh, the on button is usually on. And now the spotlight is on the Kaseya Center as the NBA Finals shift to Miami. The Heat hit the practice floor knowing that if they win all their home games, they will be NBA champions. We have a different vibe here. And, you know, I mean, the vibe down here is just awesome, man. When it gets going in here, it's really like a party. But in order for that party to get started, the Heat will have to continue to play like they did in Game 2 with big contributions from several players. Fans hoping for a playoff Jimmy takeover from Jimmy Butler, but he said today that's not how he plays. I don't press to score. I only press to win. So if I pass the ball every possession, if we win, I don't care. If I shoot the ball every possession and we win, I don't care. Um, this playoff Jimmy narrative, it's not a thing. Um, I, j I just want to win. As for the home court advantage, the Heat say they notice all the support and it helps push them to wins. The, the fan support we've had during this playoff run has been huge. Um, they've been phenomenal. They've showed up uh, every single night we've been home. And um, even when we're on the road, we, we've, we've seen the videos of um, you know families, fans walking the streets, banging pots and pans. Yeah, hopefully pots and pans coming, but a few games from now. As for Tyler Hero, you saw him in the video. We talked about him at 4 or 5 o'clock. His status for game three. Now, today, Coach Spose said Hero has yet to be medically cleared. Now, that could technically change before game time, but I do want to update you, Calvin and Nicole. He is listed as out for tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So, as I mentioned earlier, it's unlikely he's back for game three, and we're still not sure if he'll be back in the series at all. And we did kind of talk about this earlier in the day that we don't even think it's best if he comes back. We love him, but yeah. they have a good flow going on right now. They're playing so well. Everybody contributing. As Jimmy said, He'll do what he needs to. Other guys will. You'd love to have him back in some capacity helping the team out, but I don't know how that fits. And again, it really is about his health. He's not going to play unless he's medically cleared. Okay, we can't wait for the game. Thanks a lot there, Will. Now let's head on over to the Heat House. This will be the first NBA Finals game in Miami in nearly 10 years. And Local 10's Andrew Perez continues our live team coverage. Andrew. Guys, and there are people here from all around the world, all across the country to watch this game. But the players say they are excited to finally get that hometown energy back. We just love it. Even far out west in California, Heat fans there say they know how we celebrate with pots and pans. It is packed. It's amazing. We want to see that. Miami, Miami is right up here. It's something many visitors say they want to see again as the Heat hit the court to practice and the Nuggets enter their house now with game three only hours away. I'm expecting it to be, you know, every time we make a layup, free throw, uh, three, it'd be an avalanche of noise. Fans were pumped watching game two at the Kaseya Center in Miami and the Heat were playing about 2,000 miles away in Denver. So safe to say now with the finals tied one to one and the heat playing at home, fans are bringing that added heat and plenty of merch to match. My favorite player, of course, is Jimmy Butler because I love what he puts on the floor. Intensity, uh, hustle, <laughs> we wish to have tickets, but we, we will, uh, yeah, too expensive. We came, flew out here, to see what we can get and make sure that maybe we'll get lucky enough and see someone. Luby Scherer and her family came to town from California just to be around the atmosphere. We found tickets in the thousands and further back for a few hundred dollars a pop. Fans are no doubt very invested here. The banners say it best. We are all in the finals. By the way, important to point out, there have been several visitors that are well aware of the pots and pans. So we are definitely global on that front, all right? We've also got media from all over the world getting ready behind the scenes. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. Okay, all right. We're going to keep the pots and pans in the kitchen for now, and then we'll bring them out after we win. For now. <laughs> all right, for now being the key word, my man. Thanks a lot there, Andrew. You can only watch Game 3 tomorrow right here on Local 10. We kick things off at 7.30 with the Ocean Bank countdown to tip off, followed by the game, and then stick around for Local 10 News for instant reaction.
And of course, look for live reports from Will Nanso and Janice Fernandez on the NBA Finals as we cover the Heat every step of the way.